Hi friends, welcome to the video lectures on technical zig by Shravan Kumar Mantri. In my previous video lecture, we have seen the concept of pointers with arrays where we have not taken an extra pointer variable. So like we have taken a of 5 and we have taken the values and we printed the values, we printed the elements of array by using the concept of pointers without taking an extra pointer variable. If you want, you can watch my previous video lecture. So now I am going with by taking a pointer right now. So now how it can be taken and whenever I take a special variable that is a pointer variable and how we can execute and how these elements in an array how differently we can get the output that also we can see. That means let us suppose if I want to print the value 11. Let us suppose I want to print the value 11. So how many different ways I can print the value 11 whenever I take a new new pointer variable and I will assign I if I assign like this. So all those things we'll see. So here I have written as the name of an array is a pointer constant. We can store it in another pointer variable and use it as the same way. So even if, if you don't take this variable also you can get the answer. But if I take how differently you can get the answer you can see in right now. So let us suppose if I take a of 5. So the values will be stored like this a of 0, 11, a of 122, a of 233, a of 344, a of 4, 455 like this it will. Now I have taken pointer variable p so which is a special kind of variable and now after taking a variable p what is the memory where it will be taken maybe in some memory location I will take something like 2000. So what I have written p he is equals to a I told you what is a means means which is indirectly equals to address of a of 0. So that means if a of is an array what is a means it is indirectly address of a of 0 that means what is a value now if I take the address of this is the base address what is the base address of this one let us suppose if I start if I take this one as 3000 anyway integer takes 4 bytes that's why this is 3004 it starts from next 3008 this is 3012 this is from 3016 so 4 bytes will be taken for every value now ampersand a of 0 what is p is equals to base address what is base address 3000 so the value inside p is like 3000 so like this it will be now now if I take like this how differently you can get the value 11 you can see here so how differently we will first check it out whenever I want to get the answer 11 how to write how to print the value 11 if I take so let us suppose simply I will write what is a of 0 I will write a of 0 what is a of 0 yes what is a of 0 11 you can get now a is an array now indirectly I can say that a is indirectly which is I can print with respect to the pointers this we have seen in my previous video lecture that means if I say only a which is the address what is that address 3000 what is the value inside 3000 means 11 so can I write it as pointer a so which is also equals to 11 so indirectly we can say that pointer of a plus 0 is also 11 so this also we need to remember a means address 3000 what is the value inside how can you get by adding the hash trick or prefixing the pointer so now a plus 0 now two more things you can consider where you can print the value 11 so what are those two more things you can get the value 11 means so here you have written int pointer p so what is p equals to a so that means what is p value 3000 what is hash trick p if I ask you what is hash trick p means what is the value inside this 3000 what is the value inside this 3000 11 so if I print simply pointer p what is the value 11 you can get or p plus 0 like this now one more let us suppose if I write pointer a plus 0 equals to a of 0 pointer p plus 0 is also equals to p of 0 so like this also you can get so that means when you take a new variable that is a pointer variable if you assign p equals to a then these many ways you can print a single value of array so similarly if you want you can take the value something like 33 how to get 33 I can write a of 2 which is equals to 33 I can write pointer of a plus 2 which is equals to 33 and I can write pointer of p plus 2 which is also equal why because p equals to 3000 what is p plus 1 p plus 1 is 3004 
p plus 2 means 3008 then like this it will take so this is also 33 p of 2 you can write this is also 33 i told you know p equals to 3000 means what is p plus 1 p plus 1 means it is not 3001 it is the next address what is the next address 3004 it will take by default what is p plus 2 means next address that means p plus 2 will be taken directly as 3008 anyway it follows the concept of base address plus index into size so like this also we can consider so this is what now if you take for all the values i have represented this in terms of a table you can see here a table that means well, how 11 can be represented means a of 0 i told you pointer of a plus 0 pointer of p plus 0 p of 0 so in all these cases you will get the answer as 11 now what about 22 a of 1 pointer of a plus 1 pointer of p plus 1 p of 1 so like this so you can see for all the values so this is what we have to know the representations like when you take a new kind of a variable a pointer variable and if you assign to the base address of a or any address of array you can assign but here i have taken with the base address anyway I, i'll explain to the next in the some other address i'll take here i have taken what is p equals to base address so that's why you can get the values like this so this is what the representation we can have and anyway i'll show you with the execution all those things and before that we'll see one more thing like here i have taken what is p equals to a a means address of a of zero which is also called as base address now only can i take the base address can i take the address of a of two or a of three yes i can take so now what will be the representation p is equals to what is that instead of let us suppose i want to represent address of a of two that is 3008 i can write p equals to a plus two so in that case how differently the output values you can represent that we'll see now so here you can see same thing compared with the pre previous one so here also i have taken into a of i into pointer p but here instead of p equals to a i have taken p equals to a plus two now how these values can be represented we'll see anyway what is a of zero what is a of one will be represented like this and now you can see of course here lower case a so what is a of zero like this now if i ask you where a resides what is the meaning of a what is the meaning of a i told you like which is address of a of zero so that means let us suppose this is 3000 3004 now what is a which is equals to base address which is 3000 now what is p i have written what is p i have written a plus 2 that means a is 3000 plus 2 that means it's not 3002 it is the address second address that means from 3000 you have to go to the next two addresses that means 3008 anyway if you want you can check it out like this 3000 plus what is the index a plus 2 2 is the index and what is the size of integer that means 4 so it's 3008 so this address so that means p value is 3008 like this also you can represent so that means p resides at this position and a resides at this position now we'll see how the outputs will be let us suppose let us suppose if i print if i take a which is 3000 what is pointer a value inside a that means in value inside 3000 address is 11 so that means 11 i have written here a of 0 now my question what is p equals to 3008 what is pointer p is equals to that means the value inside 3008 value inside 3008 what is the value 33 that means when you write pointer p or p plus pointer p plus 0 it prints the value inside 3008 so what is the value 33 that means here so that means here you need to write pointer p plus 0 or pointer p that's it so anyway p plus 0 can be represented as p of 0 no? now from p what is p plus 1 next address which is 3012 it's not 3004 it is the next address 3012 so what is there inside 44 that means when i say pointer p plus 1 what is pointer p plus 1 means p is 3008 plus 1 next address 44 so here i can write and what about the next address here i can write p plus 2 so like this here i can write p of 1 here i can write p of 2 
like this now what about here can i write pointer p minus 1 yes so 3008 minus 1 it goes to 4 here can i write pointer p minus 2 yes so here can i write p of minus 1 yes here p of minus 2 like this you can consider so like this also you can represent that means when you when when you assign when you take a variable p pointer variable and if you assign other than the base address and how to get the values how differently you can represent the values of an array you can check it out like this so this is what happens when you assign to a particular address or when you assign to a base address so all those things we'll see with execution now so here i have taken the same program that is an array i have taken now i want to print the values So I have taken printf statement that is a of 0, pointer of a plus 0, next pointer of p plus 0 and p of 0. So all four values must be same which is equals to 11. We will check it out whether we are getting the output. So you can see here 11, 11, 11, 11. So like this you can get the answer. Now let us check it out another example. Let us suppose if I want to take here a of something like 3. Here I want to take pointer of a3, so pointer of p plus 3, here p of 3. My intention is not like you have to take all those same values. So if you take any values or any values inside the range of array, you can get the answer. So p a of 3, pointer of a plus 3, pointer of p plus 3, p of 3. What will be the output? Fourth position, so that is 44. So 44 like this. So let us suppose instead of p of 3 here if I give p of 4. So only the last value will be 55. So like this. And you can see here I will write something like a of 0. Here I will write pointer of a plus 1. Here I will write pointer of p plus 2 and I will write here p of 3. Now you can see a of 0 means 11, pointer of a plus 1 means 22, pointer of p plus 2 means 33, p of 3 means 44. So you can see the answer. So like this you can get the output. Now I told you like why should I go with the only base address, can I go with other addresses? Yes. So p equals to a plus 2 I have written. So now if I write p equals to a plus 2, how it will be executed we can see pointer of let us suppose if I write here pointer of p plus 0 and here I'll write p of 0 and here a plus 0 now can you say all those four values are same no why because your p address is a plus 2 it's not equals to 11 so now here first two values must be same which is which are 11 11 here the next two values which are represents the third position that is 33 so the output should be 11 11 33 33 so you can see 11 11 33 33 now you can guess the output of this one a of 0 means 11 pointer of a plus 0 means also 11 here pointer of p minus 2 p is at third position minus 2 so it will goes to the first position p of minus 2 again first position so all are the values which are there in first position that's why you will get it as 11 so you can see the answer here so like this you need to check it out if you want check you can check for another values what is a of 2 what is a plus 2 of course here i'll give only pointer p or p plus 0 or p of 0 so now also you can get the same values so why because what is p means address of a plus 2 so you can see all four values are same so like this you can get the output when you take pointer variable and if you assign with the address of an array so like this you can consider so this is about how we can consider how you can get the answers with one dimensional array and we'll see how the two dimensional arrays can be taken in the next video lecture. Thank you.